Welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael, and today we're going to be doing some upgrades on the Jeep. So I've had this awning on the Jeep now for probably about eight months, and it's worked out really well. I've enjoyed using this very much. It does come straight out, so it is limited, doesn't give you much coverage towards the back. And I was looking to put another awning on. But the way I've decided to go is actually with a bat wing awning and we're going to put that on today. So this guy's coming off. And that's all there is to it. This is one of the reasons why I bought this Pioneer rack is that all the accessories just slot onto different parts and the super simple take on and off. So this is the model I went for. This is the 33100 left hand. So this is the full size awning and it should fit on the left hand side of the Jeep and wrap around back. Found the mountain hardware. Okay. So these are the spares. Uh, I did read that these awnings can fail on these joints. So I'm aware of that before I bought it, but I just like things to match. I have a Rhino rack, roof rack and the Pioneer rack, and this would be awesome just to have it all match. I know it's a weird thing to have or to request or like, but I just like things to match. So in addition to the awning, in the package comes these two brackets, which are designed to fit on the Pioneer rack. It comes with the three replacement hinges in case you do break one. It also comes with a set of pegs and guy lines to stake out the awning in windy weather. To be honest, one of the reasons I went with this awning was the simplicity is so easy to put together. And if you do have the Pioneer rack, it's just a matter of a few bolts and stick it on there. So I just got to take some measurements from the truck here. So what the first bracket to be 16 inches. Okay, so we got it up there. I just need to confirm exactly where this hinge is so it wraps properly and then I think it's going to be a bit of a pig to tighten up those screws those uh, nuts sorry so that's going to be the fun part uh, it's just everything is very tight up there but looks pretty good it's not going to interfere with the doors So we'll see. So the only tricky thing was to tighten four bolts to lock the bracket to the rack itself. For me, I didn't want to remove the rooftop tent, which would have obviously made the job easier. So I struggled a little bit. OK, 
Okay, that was a bit of a hassle, but if you're going to do this and you have a setup like mine, get yourself some ratcheting wrenches that can pivot. This I couldn't do it without this. I would have had to take the whole thing off and uh, probably put the awning on afterwards. So now I'm just going to lift up the rooftop tent and make sure there's no interference with it before I go any further. It looks like it's going to be okay, but we'll find out together. So my rooftop tent is the iCamper SkyCamp 3.0, which fits perfectly on the Rhino Rack Pioneer Rack. She's tight, but that is more or less perfect. Couldn't have designed it better. So there we have it, all set up. There's quite a lot of real estate under here. That's gonna be awesome. Should be able to open the Jeep back. Pad that up. And the legs are all stored in the awning itself, so that's really nice. Yeah, I think that's going to be awesome. So that job wasn't too bad at all. Um, it was a little bit fiddly with those top bolts, but you may not have the same problem. I have a low profile rack, so it's a little bit tight to get in there. But I just love the way the Rhino racks uh, go together, all the different accessories that just slip into those little grooves and you can just tighten up a couple of bolts. So that's why I went with this particular product. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I've got a trip next week to a very rainy part of the world. We're gonna be away for a week or so. So this is gonna be excellent in those probably rainy environments. So let me know what you think in the comments. Would you have gone with a bat wing or stayed with the smaller awning? I don't feel there's a massive difference between just the side awning and the bat wing. It doesn't feel that it's significantly bigger when it's on the side of the Jeep. Uh, it's probably a few pounds heavier. I think this one is about 23 pounds, but I'll put all the stats in as usual. So let me know in the comments whether you like the upgrade, whether it's something you would do or you would have stuck with the older awning style. And until next time, take care. In the near future, I'm probably going to post another video actually showing the use of the awning as I've had a couple of trips using it now. So until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.